Do they have to be F holes? If you change the shape, would it still be a violin? This is a really great question. So a good part of it can be answered in terms of acoustics and also in tradition. One of the things that I like about violin making is that what's traditional in there makes good sense. A lot of cultural traditions, some of it's just peer pressure from dead people, let's be honest. But with the practical arts like violin making, what's traditional became traditional for a very good reason, because it works, plain and simple. Same reason that, uh, as others have pointed out to me, that leather workers still like using bone tools just because it's the best. And I think that's really neat. So what is the verdict? Is this the ideal shape for a violin sound hole? To put it simply, yeah. And it's also worth noting that any attempts to really improve upon the shape of the F hole has not really caught on just because it hasn't had the same results. If you look at the image below, you'll see the heat map of how much sound is generated in what areas of the sound hole. And the thing you notice is that all of the sound is really concentrated not on the hole itself, but on the perimeter of the hole. And that means that with F holes having a longer perimeter going around, means that they conduct almost about twice as much sound as a circular hole within the same amount of area, and that makes them extremely efficient at what they do. And yes, the suggestive jokes about F-holes have already been made. See this previous video of mine. But to answer the question, would it still be a violin? Yes, it would. It would just be an unusual violin. Uh, a guitar doesn't stop being a guitar just because someone made a uh, unusual body shape. It's still got six strings and frets, then and it has the scale length of a guitar neck, then, well, it's still a guitar. There's a really great maker that I follow on Instagram uh, named uh, Paris Andrew, and she does some really, really interesting shapes with the, uh, the, the sound holes on her violins. She's made a number of nautical-themed instruments that have very unusual shaped sound holes that I kind of like it. I think it's pretty neat. Um, now, I don't know if it sounds all that different than a traditional F-hole. I have a sneaking suspicion that it really doesn't sound all that different. Um, but it is interesting to see variation like that sometimes. By the way, I just cut my first F-holes today. Ha-ha! <laughs>